Hello everybody. So today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial on myself. It's actually a makeup look I do on myself all the time when I'm going out. It's a 15 minute, just very quick, reliable makeup look. It's classic. Uh, sometimes I switch out the lips with a different color, but today it's going to be a bright red. It's also a look I do a lot on my celebrity clients. This is a look I can rely on and I know it's going to look great on the red carpet. It's going to look great at a party and it is very fast and easy. So let's get started. Today I already prepped my skin. I used a primer by Clarence. This is a primer I use all the time. And I already uh, curled my lashes and I also just like um, brushed out my eyebrows with a little bit of a spoolie. Okay, so today's foundation I'm going to share with you is a brand new foundation by Hourglass. And I've been using this foundation a lot uh, in the evening because it is a little bit of a fuller coverage. Um, it's a stick foundation. I think it works on every single skin type. I have combination skin, but um, I like it because it does give me a little bit of a fuller coverage. Um, it comes with this really pretty uh, brush. Uh, you can use any buffing brush. I just happen to have the same one here by Hourglass. And there's a few different ways you can apply it. You could actually go directly out of the stick and apply it that way. Or if you want a little bit of a lighter coverage, um, you can just dip the brush into the foundation and then buff it on. Um, that's what I'm actually going to do because I don't want it to be too heavy. So I just dip the brush into the foundation stick and then I start applying it. I always like to start around my nose and my T-zone area and then I kind of buff it outwards where I feel like I need um, less coverage. So I'm just again around my chin area. I'm always really red and I feel like I need more coverage. And then whatever is left on my brush, I buff outwards. So I just also want to mention the color. Um, it is light beige. And now I just went over with the uh, beige color actually because I felt like it was a little bit too light for me. Also right now I have quite a lot of, you know, I have a, a tan going on. I'm pretty tan from the summer. So, uh, but once, you know, it's finished and I put a little bit of a bronze over it, it's going to be fine. After I just applied my foundation, I'm going to actually use a different eyebrow pencil. I know I'm always... I always use the same Anastasia, but I actually just got this sent by Benefit and it's called Goof Proof Brow Pencil and I actually really like it. It's really nice. So I'm going to use that. So this tip is like an angular tip and a lot of these new um, eyebrow pencils, when they're angular like that, they're quite thick and this one is thinner and that's what I like about this, this product because I can really draw in the hair and it gives me a more precise application. Another product I really like is this Glossier. It's a eyebrow gel and it has a, a light color to it. Um, you can use that after what I just did. I, I filled in my brows and I use it afterwards just to give it a little bit more texture and also to just like put my brows in place. I like it because it almost just creates even more hair and more texture over my brows. It's just a really nice finished look. All right, let's move into my eye makeup. Super easy. I'm going to use one shade all over on my eyelid. Uh, this here is by Kevin O'Quan and it's actually a bronzer. Uh, it's designed for your cheeks, but I actually really like it as an eyeshadow. Uh, this is the color. It's just a beautiful bronze and the color is called Sunlight and I use it on a fluffy brush, something like this, 217 by MAC and I use it all over my upper eyelid just to give a little bit of color. The eyeliner I'm using today is by Soeva. I really like this. First of all, it's super affordable. It has a really nice, precise felt tip. Um, I like a thinner felt tip because it just gives me, you know, it's just an easier way for me to apply the eyeliner. So this is the way how I like to apply eyeliner. 
First, you need a hand mirror. You look straight into the mirror and you have to decide how you want your liner to be. I have a deep set, also a little bit of a hooded eye. So my eyes, it's a little bit tricky to do my eyeliner. I like to bring it out slightly and I like to really make it a little bit thicker on the outer corner and really, really thin in the inner corner. So I start on the outer corner and I go inwards. Also what I do with my hand mirror is I slightly tilt my head back and then I kind of make a dot where I want my liner to end. And then I first wing it inwards. And then I bring the line up straight back and then you see there is a lot of space to be filled in so this entire space in here I'm going to fill in with black so and again if you mess up there's q-tips I can show you different ways on how to correct it even better but right now you just want to get your shape in so I bring the black back and now I start filling it in. So this is about the shape I want to have and the rest of the eye, the front and the inner corner, you have to do really thin. So I tilt my head back and I just lightly dip into my lashes that you see how it kind of like is thick here and it's thin right here so you have to just even it out a little bit so this is about the right shape for me um, this part needs to be perfected but I can do this with a q-tip now so I'm going to show you okay so this shape looks pretty good for me um, what I'm going to do is use a q-tip I put a little bit of eye makeup remover on it and you just pull it you pull it straight up and outwards and it gives you a really beautiful crisp straight line perfect okay so my eyeliner is done the next step is mascara the mascara i personally love on myself when i do a drugstore mascara is covergirl it's actually one of my absolute favorite mascaras i've been using this for years I really love the brush on this mascara and it just, you know, gives my lashes a really nice, thick, full lash. I try to go really close to the root of my lashes and I wiggle it up and uh, it just gives me a really nice, thick, full lash. Uh, my lashes right now are actually in really good shape. I struggle with my eyelashes because sometimes I don't know, they're just thin and kind of broken and um, are hard. Like right now, they're, I feel like they're in really good shape. I haven't done eyelash extensions for a while. So maybe that's also something which has been helping my lashes. I've been using a, a serum, a, a strengthening serum to make them a little bit fuller. So that also helps. Now with this look, you could do a um, strip of lashes or you could do some individual lashes you know would look amazing with this too but I want to keep it a little bit more modern and young and fresh and, and different so I'm not doing uh, I'm not doing a strip today so my eye makeup is done the next step is concealer the concealer I chose today is by Urban Decay I've been loving this concealer uh, it's called the Naked Skin uh, and I just apply it directly out of the 
tube. It has a little bit of a spongy applicator. It reminds me very much of the NARS concealers. And I just kind of like put it on like that and then you can either use a brush or your hands. I love this concealer because it's super lightweight and it doesn't crease. I hate when a concealer becomes cakey and greasy, especially, you know, in my age where I, ha I do have more fine lines and wrinkles under my eyes. And I feel like the more product I apply underneath my eyes, it's almost aging for me and it doesn't, it's not very flattering. So I just like a really light concealer and, and I use my hands and I think this one is perfect. So for powder, I really don't need a lot of powder. If you do want a powder, you can just go ahead and use a pressed powder or a loose powder all over. I'm just going to use this Armani pressed powder on my T-zone and I'm just going to use it like just a tiny little bit underneath my eyes and in my T-zone and that's all I'm going to do on powder. Okay, so for my cheeks, I'm going to use two different colors. The first one is by Smashbox. It's a bronzer. Um, I like it because it doesn't have too much shimmer in it. And I'm going to just use it with a fluffy brush by Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm using the bronzer just to kind of warm up my face a little bit because, like I said earlier, the foundation is a little bit lighter than what I was hoping for. So I'm just going to warm up my face in just, you know, I'm not contouring my face at all. I'm just going to give it a little bit of color just with a fluffy brush. Just warm up your face where you just go around your hairline, on your cheeks in big strokes and a little bit in your jawline. Just just to add color. And what I also like to do with my Smashbox bronzer, I put it on my 216 eye brush and I use it kind of just like in the crease of my eye and on the outer corner, just to give a little bit more definition and also to just, you know, make my eyes just pop out a little bit more. And I feel like this color just ties in the entire eye makeup. I'm obsessed with this palette. I'm going to show this to you. This is by Kevin Aucoin. So beautiful. It's basically a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. And when you mix it together, I mix it on this Bobbi Brown brush and just kind of swirl it into the palette. And then you dab off the excess. And I just use it kind of like on my apples of my cheeks and it just gives ever so slightly just a beautiful touch of rose and just a beautiful highlight and i think you can see the difference and for highlighting i'm just going to go in in that left color the very light color with a fan brush and i'm going to just highlight my cheekbones a little bit that way you can see it gives a beautiful highlight. This makeup is almost done. Last step is my lips. Now again, with this makeup, it's so classic and you can really do any kind of lip color with this. But the one I've been using when I'm going out is a liquid lipstick by MAC. And I know there's so many different liquid lipsticks on the market right now. It's the rave, it's the thing. but. I really like the MAC ones because I really think that they nail down the reds. There are so many great red shades. The one I'm obsessed with is um, Red Jade. This color is just so perfect for me. And I also like this MAC formulation because it's not too drying. And I feel like when I'm going out, sometimes I'm, I'm just too lazy. I don't want to touch up my lips and I don't want to reapply all the time. It really lasts for a couple of hours. And it looks great in photographs. And I get so many compliments when I wear this lipstick. So what I do is I apply it directly out of the bullet. It comes with this like cute little um, brush applicator and just make sure that you don't have anything on your lips and just I go directly on it and 
and start a little bit lighter and then you can always build the sponge applicator has a nice little angle to it so you can create the lip shape you need and then what I like to do is I like to take a q-tip a pointy one and I just kind of like clean up the edges around and then I just go in the corners of my lips Okay, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. I am such a huge fan of this makeup look because again, it's quick and easy. I get to do this on all my celebrity clients all the time and I do it on myself because I know I can rely on this makeup. It looks great in person. It looks great on photographs. It looks great on the red carpet. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching and I see you very soon. Bye.